The past two weeks have witnessed a wave of controversy, anguish and heightened tension across the southeastern region of Nigeria following a sit-at-home order issued by a faction of the indigenous people of Biafra. This order was in response to the continued detention of their leader. This follows the allegations of government irresponsibility and the tragic loss of innocent lives. The sit-at-home order, which aimed to protest the incarceration of IPOP leader Namdi Kanu, paralyzed economic activities, disrupted social life, and led to further clashes between security forces and pro-Biafra agitators. The order, although primarily intended as a non-violent expression of dissent, has inadvertently resulted in severe consequences for the people of the region. The detention of Namdi Kanu has been a contentious issue since his arrest. Kanu's arrest and subsequent detention have drawn significant international attention, with critics arguing that the Nigerian government's actions have been heavy-handed and lacked transparency. The Nigerian government has come under intense scrutiny for its alleged irresponsibility in handling the situation. Critics argue that instead of engaging in meaningful dialogue and addressing the core grievances of the IPOP faction, the government has resorted to heavy-handed tactics for the aggravating the already volatile situation. Reports emerging from the region indicate a surge in the cases of violence, extrajudicial killings and human rights abuses allegedly perpetrated by security forces during the enforcement of the sit-at-home order. Witnesses have claimed that security personnel in their bid to enforce compliance resulted to excessive force resulting in tragic loss of lives, injuries and widespread fear among the populace. Civil society organizations and human rights activists have raised concerns over the excessive use of force by security forces and the lack of accountability for the reported abuses. In response to these allegations, government officials have reiterated their commitment to national security and maintaining law and order. But where is the law and order? It is crucial to note that the suffering and loss of innocent lives resulting from the ongoing conflict should not be dismissed or overlooked. The cries for justice and accountability from affected families and communities must be addressed promptly to prevent further escalation of tensions. The failure to address these issues could have far-reaching consequences jeopardizing the unity and harmony of the Nigerian state.